Hey, hey, welcome everybody. This is 88.9 FM, KUCI, Irvine. Roots and Rhythms is the show. I'm DJ Yogi, and I am honored, blessed, and very thankful to have the man in the house, Mr. Tony Chen. And greetings, Tony. Good morning, good afternoon. Greetings and good morning, man, to all reggae fans that the massive out there. Greetings. It's great to have you here, man. I know we did this once before. And that was another time in space, and so, like I say, man, I'm really honored to have you here again, and uh, looking forward to having a nice little chat with you, like coming home. Yeah, man, the pleasure for I and I too, you know. Hey, so let me ask you, Tony, that track we were just listening to. Tell tell us all a little bit about it. I know you were telling me, but I think the listeners would like to know the history of what we were just listening to. Okay, there was a track that we did um, with this producer by the name of Jack Ruby. He's the producer for a group called Burning Spear. That album he did with Back in the Hills, A Man in the Hills, the Burning Spear. He was the producer and I played on that track with Earl Chinna Smith and Osmode, original Soul Syndicate member, with, with Robbie Shakespeare and Bass, you know, and Marcus, Tom McCook, Dirty Harry and Horns. We did a track back in the mid 70s. Right. And they called us the Black Disciples. That's a record by name. Tout and keyboard from Inner Circle. And my gosh, that was really, really extraordinary. Crazy deep. Uh, yeah, man. Let's bring up memories, man. Yeah, we could listen to that the whole time. The whole time. So hey, let me ask you here. When when was the first time you came to America? It was in 1980. No, no, 1975. I came on tour, but. Living in America was 1980 when I came here to live resident. Did you experience any kind of culture shock coming here? Yeah, the first time we came, 1975, we came to America. You know, um, we came exactly on the time on Halloween. <laughs> Halloween time, and we came to San Francisco. We came, we came as the Archangels with Big Youth. It's sold syndicate band, but they call us the Archangel, Big Youth. Carlos Archangel, that is his name. You know, for the band that time, and we came as big youth backup band, 1975 in San Francisco, and we we came in Halloween time, and you know it was really a culture shock for me because I never see so many people in different costumes, right. and you know I must say so many different things mm -hmm. that really that we, we don't see in Jamaica. It must have been a good thing because you came back. Oh you yeah 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 man. Live. Yeah, man, we come forward again, you know. When did you decide that you wanted to move to the States? Oh, I got married and, you know, I live here in 1980 and thing. And from what I've read, you, you first went to Florida, but you ended up in California. Why was that? No, he said, and my mom lived in Florida. He said, the time I was living in California, my mom was living in Florida. So I just went there and visit. Okay. Um, I'll ask you this on a little side note. Uh, I know as a youth you wanted to uh, you you wanted to be an airline pilot, and so whatever happened, did you ever pursue that dream? Did you ever fly a plane? Oh no 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 no. What happened? I used to go to a movie when I was a, a child, going to the movies and watching some of those war movies with those airline pilot, you know, flying fast. So I was fascinated. Right. They would want to be an airline pilot, but I I end up. Um, being in the Boy Scout, I, w I was very military like mm -hmm. person, you know, and I ended up in the Boy Scout. And then when I left school, I went, went to college and in, in up in playing in a cadet. Playing, a, actually, I was playing drums in a cadet. That's what I was, yeah, that's what I was just going to lead to because I know when you were in the Boy Scouts, I believe, anyways, is when you learned how to play the drums right. and the horns, you were a cadet. Yeah. You, you blew the, bl the bugle. The bugle. Uh -huh. uh, but I gave up on that because it hurt my jaw. <laughs> yeah, man, so I gave up on it, I think. Uh, uh huh. And uh, so that's probably why, like you just said, that's why you got out of that and wanted to get yeah. into playing the guitar. You see, actually, it said. In the boy scout and the cadet, that was my first experience in playing music. And then um, the way I really got into it, um, one day, because I said, before I played the guitar, I love to sing. I, I love to try and sing and sing. And, and my dad got me um, a guitar. One day he brought this guitar from this drunken guy. It came with a cousin guitar. It, it came with two, two strings. Right. And my best friend, at the time was a brother named Morris Gregory and he was a great singer and he was a good guitar player and he taught me a few things on those 
two strings and the nose and thing um and that's how I started out playing guitar and then you know we put a group together with Morris Gregory and and some other people and was singing singing and that's how fully came into you know fully could play the guitar to the rhythm guitar that time the band didn't farm us yet they said we always go over in this big backyard and singing in a group every night we were over there singing Beatles songs and Elvis Presley and and singing a lot of Motown song Temptations Marvin Gaye so that's how we really started out started out singing um, I know you have this real appreciation for the rock steady sound and era and what is it about that style of music that keeps calling you back is it uh, what, what is no that? you see what happened that's the time I really grew up and started to play music that's in the, in the rock steady era that's when I learned mm -hmm. to play music that's when the band the band was souls and get actually when the band farm it wasn't souls and get it was the rhythm raiders you said and then um Fully brother changed the name and call it Soul Syndicate. And that was another thing was I was gonna ask you, why why was it changed from Rhythm Raiders to Soul Syndicate? Was it because you brought in new members? Um I've no idea did it how would really get to that name. Is is fully brother came up with that name. I don't know. But what happened, the Rhythm Raiders members them them left and we have different people came in. We have a brother named Clean Douglas. That time China was even playing with us yet. We have Clean Douglas was playing with us and Leroy Wallace Asmouth was mm -hmm. our drummer. We have um, um, Glenn Adams from them call this group called Hip Hip Boys, mm -hmm. the Upsetters, the keyboard player Glenn Adams, and a brother named Reggie, Reginald, the rhythm guitar. He, he played with the Hip Hip Boys and the Upsetters too. They were the, the, the backup band for um, Lee Scratch Perry. So the band, a lot of those really sang here. That's that's the group that I'm playing those records. The upsetters. the upsetters, right. So they were playing with us. Right. As syndicate before China came in and thing. And then when they they left, China came in. Well then back to the rock steady. Um I know you have a, a a new release that's coming to us soon. And you have a couple of songs here that you want okay. to play. Yes. Is and it? I have queued up the third song. Um, the CD, I believe, is the one you wanted me to play. Right, because what happened, um, I have my first Jamaican classic. True, I grew up in the rock city here. That's where right. I started playing music. It's always meant something special to me. So, I had a first album called a Jamaican classic with all those classic reggae. And now I have part two. That's right, <laughs> that's, that's Jamaican classic one. Now we have part two coming out soon. So, so, so these, these three songs is, is part of that. That, that them coming out. It's not finished as yet, all, but at least, you know, the least of them can have an idea what it's going to be. Right, and, and I think take. the track we have queued up is a version of Queen Majesty. Queen Majesty, yes. All right, so here you go. We're going to play a couple of rock steady tunes for you right now here on Roots and Rhythms, and uh, we'll come back and talk to the man Tony Chin in just a little bit. Yeah, man. All right, here's uh, Queen Majesty. Um, 